welcome today, Tom. Well, people who know me know I'm very passionate about heart health and in particular preventing stroke because of a family history that we have. And remembering my grandmother who was a stroke survivor as well. Well, we're going to meet a couple of gentlemen now who are also stroke survivors and find out about a special event that's happening in this area coming up next week. Joining us are Frank Austin and Dan Purcell who are with the KW Stroke Recovery Group. Good to have both of you here. Hello. Thank you. You know, we look at the two of you and think, you know, the healthy specimens of men, but both of you are, are stroke survivors. And, and Frank, in your story, you were working, you were a bailiff, and then one day, stroke happened. Two years ago, on April, um, I was sleeping, and I was actually having a good day. My little boy and I had a good day. I was given a uh, opportunity for a job. Um, that I wanted to do and I was ready to go that Monday and decided to have a stroke in the middle of the night. Um, yeah. Woke up with just my hand initially. And that's so. what let you know that something was wrong, something I was I couldn't happening. say anything. Um, the only way to let my, I knew it was going on but I couldn't, I couldn't even talk out loud. Um, my wife was in another room. We, she happened to sleeping outside, and the way I can get get help was to throw my body out of the bed to know that something was wrong. Must have been terrifying for you, and terrifying for the family too, and especially, you know, at, at your age, you're a young gentleman, you know, going through all of this. Well, it's one I've learned uh, lately is, you know, stroke is not for the old people. Um, there are a lot of people in our chapter that are um, about the same age and that I have a lot to talk with uh, about the same. And in your case, Stan, how many years ago was it that, that you suffered your stroke? Uh, a little over 15 now. Oh. I, I had a uh, brain surgery uh, to correct something that was causing me to have seizures and as a result of the surgery I had my stroke in the recovery room. Wow. So, and it left me totally paralyzed on my left side. I couldn't walk, I couldn't do anything on that left side. You know, following a stroke, there are so many supports that you need, uh, things that you want people to be able to access. And I think out of that came some of your frustrations because you started finding out that in this area, there weren't always the supports that you needed. And that's why. You decided, Frank, to, to put together a, a survivors, a support group, more or less, to help get the information out there that people needed and help put them in touch with the, the groups and the people that they needed to talk to. Correct. Um, when I was at home and learning to talk again, um, we were looking and saying, what do we do? Um, and one of the or organizations that I'm new uh, or got a new dealt with was the March of Dimes and they got me in touch with the stroke recovery. Um, so it's been partnership for me uh, and for them I've got a lot of bunch of new friends. Um, but uh, the site I melt made it simply because we didn't know. We're intelligent people but where is everything? And so that's why I started with the site to get information, and I'm still building it. Yeah, and the site you're talking about is kwstrokesurvivor.com, and that's Correct. the one that you've built and started putting all the, the, the links and the resources on that you can find so people have that information. And, and one of the things I was finding out about you, you've spoke several times about losing your voice during the, the stroke process, and that, that's what aphasia is. That, that's the aphasia part of it. Yes, about 80% of stroke people have one type of aphasia. Now, uh, aphasia, as far as I'm concerned, I didn't even know what the word was until lately, um, and then let alone to try and say it after. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but, you know, most people don't know about it, and what it is, is it's a loss of your communication, not your intellect. Right. Uh, and not people don't know that. And that's the important thing to remember after a stroke. I mean, in my grandmother's case, she lost the ability to speak completely. Mm -hmm. 
but she remembered things. She lived to be 92 years old, and, and she would point out and remember things in details, you know, that she'd either have to write down or we would, would figure out. There was nothing wrong up here with my grandmother, yeah. and, and that's important for people to know. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. Most people don't know that, uh, you know, just because they can't speak doesn't mean uh, they don't have any intelligence. It's just the brain's been uh, compromised in a way that uh, stops the communications from going from the brain to the mouth, you know, right. basically. Right, and it makes it difficult. Well, coming up next week, there's a special celebration that's happening in this area. It's the 10th anniversary of the Stroke Recovery Canada KW chapter. Yes, and it's right. going on, and I know the gentleman that you've called in to, to be a guest speaker at this is very well known in this area. Mr. Neil Aitchison is going to be part of this event. We look forward to it. <laughs> um, big time. Yeah. yeah. We're really happy to get him to speak at our event. <clears throat> it happened to be that uh, one of the co-chairs for our group went to school with Neil. They were high school buddies and uh, she asked him if he would do the group and he said no problem. Well he'll make it a fun celebration <laughs> and it's coming up June the 16th 7 p.m. and this is at Freeport Health Center. Um, the guest speaker will be Neil Aitchison and if you want tickets or information on the 10th anniversary of the Stroke Recovery Canada KW or just information on stroke in general kwstrokesurvivor.com you can go there for all the information and, and be part of the celebrations next week thank you very much for joining us gentlemen pleasure thank to have you. you here we're back in just a moment stay with us